Hi, I'm Joseph with Go Engineer. Today I want to show you how we can replace the spool on the Stratasys material cartridges when you're using a non-Stratasys material and the open materials option. It's really not very difficult. Let me walk you through it. Tools you will need are aluminum tape, a screwdriver, Phillips head, kind of a small one, a sharpie or other such marker, and some side cutters. You can use either a new spool or a reused spool of material. Do not use the chips that come with material if you happen to get something that comes with a chip use the ones that come from Stratasys. They're coded to be used with the OpenAM software and to properly show the material usage. The first thing I recommend doing is to black out the old material information and write on what material you are putting in there. If you're reusing a canister that has a label, may as well just reuse it. Next is to remove the aluminum foil tape. This is a little bit tricky. It can come off in a nice long strip, but more often than not, it just tears on you and is a bit of a mess, which is why I highly recommend using new aluminum tape when you put it back together. Once you get all of the tape removed, you can unlatch the door and pull off the cap. This frees up the material inside uh, so it's not pinched between the gears. Remove the lid and pull out the desiccant inside. I recommend keeping this. It's kind of used already, but if there's any moisture absorbency left in it, may as well reuse it. Now, if you've never seen the inside of a spent spool of material from Stratasys, you will see there's a whole bunch of material left on there. And if you had printed that all the way down to zero, you might be wondering, what is all this material doing on here? Why wasn't that used? Well, Stratasys spools on uh, 100 to 200 of feet of extra material. So during a material change, you don't use up the printable material. So that's why it's extra on there. Make sure and keep that white plastic end that you saw me pull off. It will be needed to help guide the new material through the cartridge opening. Open up your material that you're going to be using and get it ready to insert in the canister. Pay attention to the end of the material. Make sure it doesn't snap loose before you're ready for it. And also pay attention to the direction it needs to spin in the canister. Replace the desiccant bags in the slots in the canister. That way they can help control moisture as best as they can. Whether they're used or you get new ones, always make sure and have a little moisture control. Now you're ready to put the spool into the canister. Pop out the end of the material and keep a good hold of it. You don't want it unspooling and getting all tangled on you. Put on the little white sleeve with the big end towards the spool and the small end towards the canister opening. This will allow you to insert it cleanly and properly. Watch for the, the hole where it goes into on the inside and just slide the material and the tube in and kind of feed the material through the hole. It, it's a little bit tight and tricky, but once you get the material fed through, 
then you know it's going to stay straight on you. Make sure and take a little time with this. You don't want it to get cross-wound or caught on the edge of the spool between the canister or anything like that. That will just make a big mess. So pull a little bit on it to get it nice and snug. Lock down the door on it and you're ready to put the lid back on. Now use your material cutters to cut flush with the open end of the hole at the top of the canister and snap on that sealing clip. Then you can remove and replace the chip. Now don't get this confused uh, with your new one, but there's nice little alignment guide on there. When you put it back on, it can only go on one direction. So it goes on really easy and you really can't get it wrong. When you insert the screw and snug it down, only go to a gentle snug. We're not cinching this down really hard. We don't want to strip out the threads or crack the chip at all. Just a gentle snug will be plenty sufficient. Now is the time to reapply the aluminum foil tape. If you saved the old tape, just kind of gently put it back on uh, as best you can. New tape I really think works best. Here I'm just kind of gently putting it into place and then we can snug it up later. And now your custom material is ready to print. Enjoy! See, that's not so bad. If you do run into any issues or have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can find all of our contact information right on our home screen for our website. Uh, we're more than happy to help you with any questions you may have. Come back next time where I show you how to use any size spool of different kinds of materials with the open materials options for your Stratasys 3D printers. See you next time. What I tell you, not too hard, right? If you run, what I tell you, not too difficult, right? Well, blah. Okay. what I tell you, not too difficult. It's, uh, all right. What I tell you, not too difficult. Oh, bummer. Options. See you next. Next.